Hello, hello, hello. Uh, this is this is for people who use audio equipment. Um, I've had a ground loop issue. Um, it's where basically it's where USB cable, the USB connections interfere with each other because they're drawing power from the same loop, and it's it's you know it makes a a humming, buzzing noise. Well, I recently downgraded all my audio gear, and I'm using um, a track. Uh, Korg Triton Tactar, which is a USB keyboard. It also has an audio output, so it's got inbuilt sounds. So that's what I wanted to use it for, run it through various gizmos. But I noticed they had this terrible like humming and buzzing, depending on which port I plugged it into. I tried their various cables and ports, and oh, very annoying very irritating it drove me to distraction i spent like i say days piddle, you know piddling around with plugs plugging things in and out um so i had a look online and there is a there's this this thing it, it doesn't look like much it costs 30 quid though Ooh, what is it darren what is it well it's from a company oh it feels a bit loose don't mention that don't mention that it's from a company it says called hi-fi me there you go, and it's called the the iFi Me DIY USB Isolator. There you go. But first of all, I suppose we've got to do like before and after thing, haven't we? Where we do a before and an after. So anyway, I don't know if you're going to pick this up. I hope this works. But this is the before. Um, like I say, this is the Korg Triton. This is running into a little uh, Korg effects thing that I'm I'm using, but and that makes a little bit of a just a little bit of a slight hiss but you can always EQ that out but it's the hum that you want to be listening out to and then what I'll do live as it happens on camera is we'll um, we'll uh, swap this out and see if the if the, the, the buzzing hissing whatever you call it goes I know it's only slight but when you're mixing stuff and you want things to be loud and that it, it really does amplify everything so I've just got to, got to put on the old headphones for this Otherwise, I won't be able to hear what I'm playing. Now, can you can you hear that? Just a slight. It's just me, isn't it? I'm the only one who can hear it. So anyway. Let's see if it goes with this gizmo. All right, I'll just go unplug the keyboard. It should go off. Now, yeah, it stopped now. I'm going to plug it in now. Just, just to show on camera. Look, see there I am. I'm plugging it in. Because no people like to see this kind of thing. Ooh. And then plug it into me, my hub. And there we go. It should come back on again. Do you hear any noise? No, the noise is gone. Even if you turn it up. There's a slight hiss, but that's like I said. It's cured, it works, the gizmo works. So if you're having any fizzing, hissing, crackling, wobbling, ground loop issues, I thoroughly recommend the Hi-Fi Me um, USB isolator. Thoroughly recommend it. Solve my problem. Um, now that should whatever's in that should be built into these keyboards or the hub or whatever to stop these ground loop issues, and it'd um, it'd be very useful for everyone. But anyway, that was just a little a little thing for those of you who are interested in in that kind of uh, in that kind of. I think I've got a wobbly wobbly cam in that kind of thing. Anyway, my name's been Darren Locke. I've been talking ground loop issues on the old USB audio ports and a little gizmo that will fix it. Hi-Fi Me uh, USB isolator. I'll put a link. I'll put a linky onto Amazon below so you can check it out. And it, yeah, it appears to work for me and that's the important thing. So that's it. Only one more thing to say and that's a ta-ta.